What is going on everybody? Stabs here. Welcome back to another of my videos. Today we've got another 100 plus kill gameplay. This one's actually really really funny to me because um, I've actually uh, decided to go for Dark Matter and in, in this particular game I actually um, I was going for the uh, camo where I had to get kills um, without the attachments I'm pretty sure so in this uh, game I actually had zero attachments on my weevil um, it, I'll bring up the uh, the class that I was running right here in a second but you guys are gonna see just how weird this class actually was so you guys could kind of tell these people weren't really the best sh uh, shots or really good players but this is actually like one of the first times that I've actually like seriously used the weevil and um, it's not as bad as most people think it's not 100% the best SMG but um, for like public match and stuff like this is really really good I wouldn't really say it's really viable uh, for competitive just because there's a bunch of like other guns that would just hands down just absolutely uh, beat you with it but um, for public matches it's really really good because um, without extended mags it has 50 bullets and um, with extended mags I'm pretty sure it's actually 75 so you get another 25 bullets 75 bullets you could probably kill the whole entire other team uh, without missing shots like twice so that's a lot of real um, extra ammo that you guys really really could use in pubs and especially because kids really aren't that good, they don't really have that good map awareness. You could just spray bullets around everywhere. And even if you do miss a bunch of shots, you're still going to have like 70 bullets if you uh, are running extended mags. So um, this gun actually does remind me of the PDW from Black Ops uh, 2. Uh, if you guys have um, played Black Ops 2, you guys can know what I'm talking about. Because um, j I, like just as I was like making this video, I started thinking about it. And they do look pretty similar uh, sorry if my mic sound a little bit different there but they do look pretty similar and um, they both do have a lot a lot a lot of ammo and um, they're pretty good um, pub guns I guess you could say but um, like I was saying the weevil isn't really um, that good if it had a little bit more damage and uh, less recoil um, it would definitely 100% be a lot better I'd definitely be using it in pubs just because of the amount of ammo that it has uh, the recoil on it is um, weird i guess you could say you definitely need foregrip on this if you're gonna use it um especially for those like long range gunfights um the recoil and it kind of shoots up a little bit and uh, it gets really awkward if you're trying to like spawn kill people from the couch um on nuketown when they're spawning in one of the gardens you guys know what i'm talking about i do it a lot in this gameplay but um it gets really really awkward because after a while it, the gun just starts shooting up and up and up and you have to like re-aim yourself and i uh, actually died a lot like that in this game but as far as class that goes for this i feel like um, you don't really have to run that many stuff. Um, if you are running Stedden Mag, that'd be great. But I feel like you would definitely need to run, um, grip on it 100%, uh, quick draw on it. If you, um, like to hit fire, if not, then you don't, you just take that away. Um, laser set, I feel like would be really good just because it has a lot of ammo. So you can kind of spray it. A lot of people did that with the B, uh, PDW in Black Ops 2. And it turned out really, really good to hit fire. And it isn't really that bad. And um, since it does have a lot of ammo, again, you can just kind of spray hip firing and um, just hope for the shots to kind of hit. As far as score streaks go, uh, I was actually running UAV, counter UAV, and Wraith. Uh, like I said, I was going for Dark Matter. I've actually started going for that like recently. And uh, since I was going for that, I was actually playing hardcore. And if you guys don't play hardcore, um, that's basically like the first two streaks that you guys put on UAV and counter UAV. Uh, if you have that, you basically just start winning the game. But um, I didn't change it, and uh, I actually went into a normal lobby with UAV, counter UAV, and Wraith. Um, obviously, UAV and counter UAV really didn't get me any kills, except uh, like let me know where they were spawning and stuff like that. And uh, counter UAV just basically just jammed the radar. But um, I actually got a lot of kills with my Wraith. I'm pretty sure I got it like three or four times. Um, like I've said before, the Wraith 100% has to be like the best score streak in the game. And um, if you guys don't use it, you should definitely use it, especially on Nuketown since it is like completely open. My playstyle on this map wasn't really anything too special. Um, like I was saying before, since the PDW does have a lot of ammo, I basically just tried to get in their base uh, as much as I can. You guys saw um, either recently uh, in the video or you guys are going to see it. Um, I basically, every time I ran in their spawn or uh, inside one of their houses, I picked up at least like three or four kills. And um, you guys are going to see, or I'm not sure if you guys actually passed it already, but... Um, you guys are going to see this one part where they're all spawning. I basically just spawned okay, at least like four or five of them. So that's a really, really good part of about the um, ammo on the gun. So if you guys are actually using the Weevil, um, 
and on Nuketown, just basically just try and get in their spawn, hide behind one of the head glitches or something like that, and just pick them off as they run out. Uh, you should be able to get a bunch of kills unless they actually know how to shoot back, and uh, it will work out in your favor. The specialist ability I was using in this game was the Scythe, if you guys haven't realized already. Um, I really like this for Newtown Dom, just because if you get on B-Dom and um, the, you know what side they're spawning, you can just basically um, like heat up the gun or whatever it's even called by like <clears throat> L-Trigger. And um, right as soon as they come, they pop out of their head or something, you just melt them. It's like a two-shot, so you kill them really, really quick. And uh, you get, I'm pretty sure, like 25 extra points per kill. So um, you get four kills, that's like you basically getting five normally. And uh, it's really, really good when you're on a flag because you actually get even more points when you actually get the kill for defending them. So um, I usually run that on Newtown just because it really, really helps me uh, cycle through my streaks a lot faster. Like I was saying before, uh, my place on this map is basically just try and get in their base and uh, just kill them as much as you can. And uh, you guys are actually about to see that in just a second. I'm about to get to their base and um, you guys see that every time I spawn, I basically just try and rush it as fast as I can to either their garage or like side of the house or something like that and just basically get inside their base uh, to wherever they're spawning and um, you guys just saw I actually just ended up uh, picking up two people and uh, I still had 15 bullets left so I could have easily killed that third guy but I just missed a lot of shots on the first two and um, that third guy just had a better angle on me but you guys just saw um, if I didn't miss at least like five or six bullets on those two kids like each I could have had at least like 20 25 extra bullets in my clip and I could have killed easily at least two or three of the other team without actually having to reload again if you guys are interested in actually watching uh, another one of my videos where I drop 100 plus so far I've done uh, the VMP the Gorgon and I just finished the Weevil um, if you guys are interested in watching like other videos and whatever how I play um, I actually made a playlist on my channel you can go and find it. I'm pretty sure I named it like Black Ops 300 plus kill gameplays or something like that just look for that and you guys are gonna see them hopefully I can get like at least like 10 15 maybe even 20 plus uh, videos on that and uh, hopefully it'll actually like last us a long time because it's actually really really fun videos uh, you guys could also go to Mondi's YouTube channel if you guys like watching 100 plus gaming plays. Um, he actually gets a bunch more kills than me just because of the streaks that he uses and stuff like that. But uh, he's been absolutely just like destroying kids in pub lately. He's been getting like 100 plus kills every single game. Um, he can't upload every single one of them obviously, but he's been uploading lately. And um, I'll link his channel down in the description if you guys want to go watch some of his stuff. Um, there's some pretty high kill gameplays up there like 120 plus and stuff like that. As you guys can see the game is actually coming to an end. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please remember to kind of subscribe. Follow my social media links down in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time. If you guys want to see some Dark Matter stuff, hopefully when I get it, let me know in the comments. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Let's see if we can get 10 likes on this video. Peace out, guys.